It's groom portrait time, and we're gonna show you how to turn this into this with two lights. What's up, Photography World? Joshua Gosso here from theshutterschool.com. And today, we got a quick portrait tutorial for you using two gels, or rather, two lights, one gel, one grid, and a mirror to make a cool groom portrait. So here's the scene. One of my favorite things to do is when you find a relatively simple, basic scene and find a way to construct something cool out of it. So uh, when you look down this hallway, you're seeing some hand sanitizer, an ugly old door with a logo on it. Uh, this door window might be okay, but you've got like this plaques and stuff next to it with a hand sanitizer in front. Not a lot to work with, but you do have this really cool mirror. So. What you want to do is take the simple things that are there, find anything that is visually interesting in a space, simplify it, and try to create a cool portrait using what you got. So I've been trying to work on using more gels. Um, like if you look at Christian Cardona's work, I think he's the best at it. Uh, and he takes, he finds cool textures that maybe don't pop and maybe aren't that interesting on their own, but then throw some color on it. Bam, you got something really cool to work with. So I've been wanting to try to practice that a little bit more. And so when I saw this mirror, thought it'd be the perfect chance. So we turn this, into this and we're going to show you how all right so here as i'm exploring i'm looking for ideas i like to show up like an hour early and just kind of walk around and see what i have and so i'm kind of testing how the composition framing how this looks on camera and i like it but like i said it's very flat and neutral the shape is really cool but it could use a little pop so i start playing and kind of throwing a colored gel on on the wall and here these are just kind of test selfies here to kind of see is it possible i think i set up the light beforehand that was on my face just to kind of roughly get the levels dialed in and see roughly would this work it's obviously real hard to shoot it uh, yourself but then i can see okay cool we got some good glow here so the setup um i'll skip ahead real quick and kind of show you what i have you have a cto i did full cto to get maximum orange color because um, I figured this is kind of an orangey gold colored mirror already. So I really wanted to enhance that color and add some glow on the wall around it. So I put a full CTO. So we're throwing a lot of orange light up on the mirror. And then my assistant for that day, Renee, she has a grid, a mag mod mag grid there. So I can be a spotlight on the groom. And then he's going to look in the mirror. So as I build the scene, you can see just the uplight, the orange light by itself is adding a glow to the mirror. Obviously, this would be a horrible light to use by itself. So we need to fix the light on his face. And that's where the grid off to the side comes in, illuminates him. You need that grid to control the light. So if you've ever wondered what those little weird honeycomb things are for, it's to prevent the light from going everywhere and hitting this wall and washing out that orange. So we're just hitting his face. All right. So as you can see the setup again, the tricky part here is not being in the mirror. So with the mirrors, you have reflection. So it's hard to actually be directly in front of the mirror without getting yourself in it. So I'm kind of at an angle and I'm shooting down on the mirror so that you don't see me in it. It does create one small problem with the photo that I'll show you later where you're going to have to fix some distortion. Um, but here you can kind of see the setup. I'm shooting down, getting his reflection in the mirror. It's kind of cool that on the back of the camera, you can see it um, setting up. You got the front orange flash and you got the assistant light off to the side. Pretty basic setup. So light the foreground, light the subject. That's two light setup. And let's see how it turned out. And there we go. This is the unedited version, I believe, or a similar photo. It's not the exact one, um, but you get an idea of how much color and how much what the light's gonna look like straight out of camera. And you'll notice that it's at a slightly off centered angle. So if you don't know how to fix that, you go into the develop panel. You always wanna shoot things perfect out of camera if you can, but it's just impossible in this particular setup for me to not be in the mirror without shooting it at a little bit of an angle. I think if I got the camera high enough and shooting down, I could have had it centered and just shooting down. Uh, but you, if you go down to the transform section here, you can manipulate the scale and the tilt. So like I can tilt it up and down, I can tilt it sideways. And so it'll look like I was standing in front of the camera. And so you can kind of mess around here until you get everything lined up perfectly. That's a little bit better. And then you'll have to crop in. This isn't gonna be perfect because I'm just showing crop in to kind of get these edges. And then the other thing you could do is let's say this is the perfect composition and I have this tiny bit of white here. You can go into Photoshop and try to clone that in or do a content aware fill or something like that. You could probably look for those tutorials separately so I won't take the time to do that real quick. Just wanted to show you the overall setup and then the edited photo where I kind of boost the, the colors, the orange, the contrast. Um, this is what we end up with. So again, we went from this to this. So. Light the foreground, light the subject. 
you're good to go. Thanks so much for watching. Again, I'm Joshua. Look me up on my Instagram, Joshua Grasso, if you want to see more of my work or go to shutterschool.com to see more tutorials or subscribe to us here on YouTube. Give us a like, give us a comment, help that algorithm feed us to more people so that I'll be motivated to make you more videos. But anyway, keep shooting and we'll see you in the next video.